for today, you are going to be um, we're going to be weaving, and for weaving, you're going to need yarn, um, thick cardboard, and like a rectangle ruler. And you can buy these at the craft store where they have like these on them. Or you can make them, just make sure you have an odd amount, and you can make them how big you want. And you're going to need scissors. So first what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using some yarn. And it doesn't matter how much you use. And just leave that string there. And so then you wrap it around to the next one at the bottom. And then you wrap it to the next one at the top. And you just keep doing that, and I'm going to do um, seven wrapped arounds, but you have to have an odd amount, or else it won't um, like weave. It. You have to have an odd amount, and so just put it down at the bottom. So I'm going to do four more. I only have enough to do five. So now what you're going to do is turn it over to where you had the yarn and you're going to tie it. So this extra yarn that was there that, that we started with, just tie it. And I'm going to double knot it so it, you know it, doesn't, it won't come off. And then you're going to do the same thing to the, with the other one. And I'm going to double knot that one, too. Okay. Okay. Now, flip it back to the side that you started with. And now you have strings. And what you're going to take is another thing of yarn. You can use, like, a different color or anything. But I'm just going to use the same color. And what you're going to do is you're going to... I'm going to flip mine around. You can turn it... To, you can tie it to this first string, and I'm only going to tie it once, make sure it's down, and then cut off the excess string, and then what you do is you take the whole thing and you just do this, and for first starting, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the second one, so one, two, one, two, so you have the second ones, and then you're going to put the yarn through those or under those, and it's going to come down like this. And then we just picked up the second one, so now we're going to pick up the first ones. So you have to remember your pattern, and if you forget, if your string ends up ov over the last one, that means you're going to pick up the first one. And if it doesn't, you're going to pick up the second one. So one, one, one. You're going to have three for the first one. And then you pull it down, and you kind of want to make sure it's not too pulled tight so these don't go together. But then now, see, it's under it, so you're going to pick up the second one. And you're going to only have two of those. So you just keep doing that. Um, and then now we'll pick up the first one. So you kind of get the idea now. And just keep doing that till the top or how far you want or for how long you want. And so just keep going. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take a while. So I'm going to do this one. Okay. And then, so you just keep doing that to the top. And I'm just going to stop right here. And what you do is you're going to cut the, well, actually, you have to cut the back. I'm just going to stop there, but you have to do that once you get to the top. You have to go all the way up. So just cut the back. And now what you do is take off these ones, okay, and, okay, so we have that one, that one, and that one. So you're going to tie these two, double knot, it's kind of hard when there's nothing under it, and then you're going to take this one that's closest and double knot it to this one. And then next, you're going to take this one 
and finally double knot it to this one. It would be easier once you have your weave all the way up there. And then next you do the same thing with the other side. And so take the first one, double knot it with the second one. And then take the one that's closest to the next one and double knot it with it. So I'll take this one, double knot it with this one. And you're going to take the next one that's closest, which is this one for me, and you're going to double knot it to the last one. Okay. So you just keep double knotting them. And then you can cut that string off like that. And then you have a little weave here. And you can do it all the way to the end. And there is my weave. And this is what a finished product would look like, like this kind of. And it could be like tighter, tighter, or like really close together to where it looks like that, or like this, and thing. And they use two different colors for. So to wrap it around, they used a pink, and for the other color, they used the color I'm using. And this is what it is. And you can use it maybe like as a coaster or a bookmark. You can make it long, maybe like make a big one of those, a little blanket. It's just something you want to do. And that is how you weave.